This oh is, yeah. This is hype. I'm honestly super excited because we might see the inception of a new meta. Genuinely, like if he thinks this character is top tier and he ends up piloting this character to top tier status, this is like the very beginnings of yes. that. So we're moving in. You are Look. currently watching the dawn of the future of Smash right here at House of 3000. Yeah, but and let's not forget about DeBuzz's opponent here. Jen is uh, one of the best players in New York and just a staple for so many years now. Just such a good player, and I think it's such a good test of metal. If you think this character is top tier, let's see how he scraps with a, uh, with a top level New York player playing a top level character. Yeah, if, if you're not playing a top tier character, Paul Lutain is going to exploit that. If your character's got some glaring weaknesses, <laughs> it's going to get back aired. So, right you here. You will find out immediately when yeah. your character's <laughs> actually top tier when they go against Palu. Yeah, for sure. Especially Palu like Jen, like you were saying. Uh, right there, using uh, some fade back thunders and such, it's actually a really strong option because of Sora's floatiness. You would think that's like so laggy and such, but by the time he presses neutral B, he's already faded back a good amount, and you got three thunderbolts coming down. It's pretty sick. Unless you really hard read it. Okay, I'm liking this sort of look at this zone that they're both occupying. And in the end, it's going to be Jen who breaks it by going in for that mix up with the grab. You can definitely see he's paying attention to sort of the openings that DeBuzz will be giving him from his own habits. DeBuzz doesn't have many habits. The fact that uh, Jen is actually picking up on them is speaks to his stellar ability as a player. I think that Jen reading the uh, jump, but Sora's jump is so awkward and high that actually was able to just float right over it that entire uh, span of the move. Oh, and clanking with the shield because it's also a sword and then using that to get a true punish into a kill. Sora's strength in the air with that short hop fair and uh, Nair is so insane. Sora is like one of the few characters that arguably can plank. Yeah, yeah. It, it's I honestly playing the buzz. It's not an argument. The buzz will plank using the rising up air from Sora. His jump is like such a weird squat animation that he will like comfortably be under the stage and then zoom up with the jump and punish you with that huge up air. It's it's really strong stuff. I I'm excited to see what the buzz does does with this character. What's what, can those thunders be reflected by the down beam? If so, which, where, what angle do they get reflected at? I, I believe they get like sent back up, kind of like Pikachu's down B. Um, so it won't really put the buzz in any danger, but it could make Jen safe to just uh, keep approaching after reflecting the thunder. And this is the thing with Sora off stage. Look at that. He can just chill there. He can chill for quite a while. He's not really a danger game gimp pretty much ever. Ooh, wow, okay, that's something that Jen has done multiple times now, waiting for that thunder to come out and reacting to it and just going in for the actual punish. If you're to buzz, you have to be a lot more careful, pay attention to sort of what zone you are when you're throwing out that projectile because Jen has been exploiting that. Well, look at that, that's like 20, I think like 20 damage about and just gets Jen off stage instead. Really good burst option from ledge. And even if you, you shield the side B, you can then mix up where you're going with the other two. And it can be pretty tough to punish. Ooh, I think that maybe could have been a better punish uh, if the buzz was more ready, but just gonna opt for one, two, three on the fair. Oh, a better punish like that. Look at that. That was really good from the buzz. And now he has a lead. This is, I think the first time we've seen him with a stock lead in this game. Uh, I cannot remember who took the Ooh. first stock. But regardless, a nice lead right here. And look at this. I think the thing is, honestly, with Sora is you can quite literally see that he has thunder on deck. And because of that, Jen's just kind of been waiting and react, uh, knowing that it's going to come and reacting right there. Not punching with a dash attack like before, but punching with auto reckle, which just goes right through that and will stop it. Yeah, he's going for the auto radical, expecting the thunder to come out immediately next. But that time, to Buzz mixing him up got a little bit of an opening, but that opening snatched away from him. And once <laughs> these lower percents, if you get hit by whoa, any one of Palutena's moves, just end up getting taken for a ride. Just so much damage. He's getting punished for that auto radical. Jen got way too comfortable expecting, you know. To buzz to be further away than he is, but instead he is closing the gap. He is actually meeting him face to face, and it's working out real well. He had no invincibility, it didn't even matter.
Okay, right here. This is scary, you know. Light character, 84%, and that down air, it is really disjointed, but, I mean, it is laggy when you shield it on the ground like that, and Jen kind of not falling for it, even though DeBuzz hasn't whipped that out. It's pretty reactable. And, oof, going to get back aired. Yeah. It's tough when your jump's that slow to get out of the, the like the area of halting and smothering yeah. you with like, and, bears. And in general, uh, Sora kind of falls into one of those kinds of characters where some characters, they uh, can use double jumping in neutral as like a really good tool, you know, just to reposition, re space. Characters like, I don't know, Sheik or Squirtle, you know, they'll go and then they'll double jump and that's like a big part of how they're able to, you know, navigate neutral. But... If you're sorry, you cannot double jump in neutral. You just get sent so high into the freaking stratosphere that all of a sudden you're in disadvantage Three, now. Two, one, go. A banger here for game two on FD. And I, I like this pick from FD. So I think platforms for Sora um, can often be a nuisance because it then creates a little ceiling to protect the opponent from those landing uh, fares and nares on shield, which is really such a strong point. So I believe the Buzz really likes using FD, and Swords in general, I think, in the future will really like using FD because it, there's no limitations on both your juggling and your shield pressure. I mean, you saw the juggling right there. Some solid damage dealt onto Jen, but I love the fact that Jen is really knowing his optimal punishes against Sora, a newer character. You know, like he's mentioning to not only, you know, he's parrying these moves and getting big smash attacks, or he knows that there's enough time for him to get an up smash. And good usage from the Thunder right there. Actually, he's gonna stop Jen from just chilling on ledge. It's really high up like that. And Explosive Flames actually can be pretty strong because it's a lasting hitbox. It can cover the range where Sora is jumping with that huge, slow, floaty jump. Ooh, that down smash was a really good idea, but a bit too preemptive on it. Oh, and read that perfectly. That That is a top player read right there. Or reaction. Either way. Yeah, either way, the buzz finally maybe with a little bit of control here. 113%, he's definitely at kill percent, but you were talking about the planking that he's not scared to do. That's oh, what we're seeing right here. God. How did that up smash not hit? Does Sora have the DLC privilege ledge hang? We'll have to see. I think he does. Oh, look at that. That hit so high up. Look at this. Look at the neutral right now. Patience. You saw that. Jen committed to a run in, and Tabuzz was absolutely ready for it with the down tilt. Ah, dropping shield at the last second, though. I think that was maybe trying to jump out of shield or something like that. It maybe uh, could have poked, too. That move's really good at that poking. That is true, yeah. But yeah, Jen um, gonna take the stock and kind of needed to because I feel like Buzz really had some momentum going for him, but still does, you know, he's not really showing fear. And I think honestly, this switch to FD is playing a huge part in that. It's just like without the platforms to protect Jen, um, Sora becomes so scary with short hop. Yeah, although without platforms to protect the Buzz, he's the one who's now getting caught in this juggle situation. Finally able to turn it around, but not before he took about 49%. You know, this definitely still is his advantage, but at the same time, Jen slowly making the deficit, turning it against him. Look at this, 70% already, and off stage. There are ways Palutena can kill. Ooh. Look at that! Anticipate he'd be going for that Blizzaga so much. He saw that the Blizzaga was the option in the magic menu, and he threw out the forward smash because he knew it was going to trade. Yeah, Jen has been so on point with punishing the spells, both the Thunder and the Blizzaga. He's not respected them at all. I feel like he's definitely played Sora before, or uh, I mean, played against or has been played Sora before, because he's had a very good understanding of what each spell's capability is. And now to Buzz, the one who has to make up a lead, this can be tough because I feel like against Sora, um, you could stay really stationary in shield and you won't be uh, have to worry about too much, but you cannot stay stationary uh, when back airing to Buzz's shield and getting hit by that up B. All right, things looking pretty even for both players. A slight advantage for Jen here, but at the same time, the buzz, we've already, he's already shown us he can do a lot, a lot when he gets a single hit in with those juggles. He's looking for that now. You see, using the superior range of Sora, look how close it's been. But Jen, the thing is that uh, Palutena has the superior speed, and he's absolutely been using that to run in and snatch to Buzz when he's just unaware in the middle of his, uh, you know, neutral stuff. Okay, and that fair one, two, three, finally giving to Buzz the good, uh, good positioning. Now Jen on ledge, 
And it's really scary. You cannot jump against that. But also, if you roll in, Sora has the uh, ability to just float back and punish it. And I love that up B from high down to the ledge, making sure there's no opportunity to be two framed by the Thundaga. Oh, and at this point, that explosive flame would have been so big if it hit. Great avoidance from DeBuzz. He's trapped at the ledge here. Oh, maybe not. I don't know if that would have killed if that had connected. But now it's once more Jen who's in control here with stage positioning. But is he actually going to be able to convert it into a kill? Oh, great dash attack, knowing exactly that Sora was going to float a little bit above the ledge. Oh, and DeBuzz going low first. Jen uh, j uh, going right under Jen's bear. Really good stuff. If all Jen needs one back air, one dash attack, and he manages to get a win over DeBuzz. I don't know if he's ever done anything like that before. The pressure is definitely on. You could see it in his face. That Blizzard is actually going to give him the advantage. Oh, not Surviving. quite killing. That was so good for DeBuzz. Needed to somehow get away from that ledge situation. Down throw, not going to combo into anything. Jumping away, kind of risky, but the buzz managing to get out of jail. <gasps> oh, catching the up B. Sora doesn't have the speed to actually punish that up B. And look at the spacing! Using Palutena's dash to just barely be underneath these hits. And then... Beautiful wow. dash attack. I think Jen saw how much the buzz was doing short hop in air. Yeah. And knew in that shield he wasn't going to stay there long. He was going to jump away real soon and try to throw another one out. And punching that beautifully. Jen just showing why he I, also is a top player. But also, like, think about that. There's so much on the line right here. He shields in front of him. And he goes for the dash attack on the shield. He was 100% dead if the Buzz had like angled his shield and just stayed there just a s fraction longer. Mm -hmm. The for bravery, sure. the abs he had complete knowledge that he was going to jump right there. And that's yeah. the only reason he went for dash attack. And that's why he managed to get the win over the Buzz. The Buzz is going to have to fight through losers. And losers is looking horrifying right if now. If you believe in the DeBuzz Sora, type an X-Place point match, Reno, because that yes. pot is going to go directly to him if he makes this loser run. So, if you believe in it, quite literally put your money where your mouth is, but for free. It's not free, your money. But for yeah. free. <laughs> Make other people put their money where your mouth is. Yeah. You tell him. <laughs> Exclamation point match, Reno. Let's make it happen. Let's get... This is such a hype Zeno. I mean, we just saw Jen beat to Buzz. Let's make it a hype plot, too. Right before Halloween, it's a it's a fun, festive time. Let's have a fun, festive yep, I'm pot. I'm not dressed for the game. Uh, I'm